Hey everyone, welcome to Gentle PSD. I hope you're all having a beautiful day. Today in this exciting tutorial we will be learning about how to create an amazing echo sound effect in Premiere Pro. Watch this tutorial and learn about some new effects of different echo versions that I'm going to show in this video. I will explain all the tools you need along with its actions and applications so you can understand it more clearly. Before we begin please make sure to hit the subscribe button and bell icon for more amazing tutorials like this. Without any further ado let's begin. Here we have this voice audio. Let's play it. I, have you ever flown first class? It's incredible. We will use this audio to create our echo sound effect. Incredible. Here we will create an echo of his voice at the end, take the razor tool and cut that part. Go to effects panel and type in delay. Take the delay and place it on our audio layer that we just cut. Go to effects control panel. Here we have our delay effect, we will use this to create our echo effect, in this delay. We have this one second time, we will change it to 0.5 second. This will give us the basic echo effect. Let's play it. Incredible. As you hear, even though we created our echo effect, but it's not working. The reason is, our playhead stopped Incredible. right where our audio ends. Because of that echo effect stopped halfway, we have to let Premiere Pro know that we want our playhead to move past our audio. To do that, select this audio and hold Alt on your keyboard. Drag it below layer to duplicate it. Now join it with our audio layer at the end. We will delete the delay on this layer. Press backspace on your keyboard to delete it. Now right click on this duplicated audio and click on audio gain. We will change it to minus 250. We just basically muted our audio layer. Select all the layers and right click on it. Click on the nest. I will name it as audio echo, click OK. We will cut our incredible phrase again to apply our echo effect. Take the razor tool and cut it. Again take the delay effect and place it on our audio layer that we just cut. Go to effects control. Change the delay seconds to 0.5. Let's play it and see the result. I, have you ever flown first class? It's incredible. incredible. We now created our basic echo effect. Incredible, incredible. We will increase the feedback to 60%. This will make our sound to repeat again and again. I, have you ever flown first class? It's incredible, 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 incredible. We now created the repeat effect. But we want our echo to start from high gain then we want it to slowly fade it out. For that change the feedback to 20%. This will work perfectly as we want. If our feedback is higher, then the amount of repeating will also be a lot. Be sure to increase it only a little. Play it again. I, have you ever flown first class? It's incredible. 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 That sounds good. We now completed 70% of our echo effect. Here in the mix we will change it to 100. This will give us that high start sound to fade it out effect. As you hear, the starting sound is too great. We will decrease our mix to around 30%. As it's incredible. 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 That sounds super perfect. We now created our echo effect that we wanted, and it sounds good. You can create an echo effect on this audio too. 
just place the delay effect and follow the steps that we just did. Like, have you ever flown first like, class? It's flown? incredible. incredible. Since we created our echo effect, we will now create that cave, echo sounding effect or high altitude echo sound effect. Go to effects panel and type in surround reverb. Take it and place it on our echo layer. Let's play it. Like, have you ever flown first class? It's incredible. As you hear, we now created that echo in large building effect. We can customize it as we like. Go to effects control and in the surround reverb, click on the edit. Now don't be intimidated by these large settings, I will explain everything in another tutorial. For now we will focus on our echo sounding effect. Here in the impulse, we have cathedral sound as default. We will change it to large concert hall. Play it and hear the difference. It's incredible. We now created that large space cave like echo sounding effect. Since our audio sound is little low, we will increase it. Click on this gain and increase it. Incredible. Now that sounds good. Here we have this front width, just slide it to higher percent. This will give us that dynamic echo sounding effect. Like, have you ever flown first class? It's incredible. That sounded amazing. You can change these impulse and try different versions to get a variety of sound effects. Like, have you ever flown first class? It's incredible. Like, have you ever flown first class? It's incredible. You can copy this two effects by shift selecting it and press Ctrl C. Select the layer you want to have this echo effect and press Ctrl V to paste it. Like, have you ever flown first class? It's incredible. 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 We now know how to create that echo sounding effect in our audio. I hope you learned something from this tutorial. Please keep supporting me and I will make more amazing tutorials like this. Thank you. We are finally at the end of our tutorial. I hope you enjoyed this video. You can always download all my project files on Patreon. Link is in the description. I will keep posting more amazing tutorials like this. Please look forward to it. If you have any doubt feel free to comment in the comment section. I will reply to it as soon as I can. Hit the subscribe button for more amazing tutorials like this. Hit the like button if you like this video. Until our next tutorial stay happy. Thank you.